so if you would like to see how I do my everyday foundation routine, I use all drugstore products, not because they're cheap, but because I like them, and it is a fairly easy thing to follow. I use my Real Techniques blending sponge and just kind of do the whole thing with that. So if you're interested in how that would look, just keep watching. Hi, so apologies for the odd intro. We're going to be using in this video the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, my CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1, and my NYX uh, HD Photo Concealer. So first, I, am, I would normally use that e.l.f. Mineral Primer if I was using that stippling brush, but with the combination of the sponge along with primer, I don't think that, I, th I think that the primer kind of like makes you lose the staying power. So first we're going to use again this foundation and I am in the shade Classic Ivory. So what I do is I just pump some on the back of my hand and then uh, dip my finger in it and just dot it all over my face. So as you can see I have like relatively clear skin, um, there's no breakouts or anything I want to cover. Um, so I just do this to cover uh, redness just kind of place this evenly all over my face first of all and this isn't really cropped or sped up at all because um, this is kind of a short thing so and yes I, I do have my dip brow on already um, felt like I should do that in a separate tutorial so now we have this dotted foundation all over yeah just go out like that no we're going to be using the flat end of the Real Techniques brush and just uh, kind of bounce this all over our faces. Um, yeah. I'm just sort of pressing the foundation into my skin with the sponge. Um, I feel like this leaves a lot more of a natural finish than the brush. I tried to use the brush the other day because um, I wasn't in the mood to wet this and I don't think I'm ever going to use a brush again. Um, and I don't really go in any specific pattern. I just tend to start on one cheek make my way across whatever but um yeah I really like this sponge um the key to it is just make sure you have the right amount of water in it and um make sure that you blend a lot I like this because it's the first off-brand makeup sponge I've found that actually has like comparable squishiness to the beauty blender because I've touched a beauty blender but I just don't have one but now that I have this thing I don't think I even need one or want one boom bye So again, I'm just sponging that in where I want it. It's It was sort of hard to blend around the brows because usually I don't have brows on. And make sure you blend that into your hairline or else that's going to look strange. And follow down your neck. So that's how it looks with just the first layer of foundation. But I like to just put directly on my finger a little more to cover like areas with more redness, um, which tend to be like my the apples of my cheeks and my chin. And um, I just decided to put some on a spot I was itching on my forehead too, and just rubbed the extra wherever. So again, just sponging that over. Um, your hand actually does kind of like get a little tired if you've been sponging too long, I guess, but um, you'll you'll get over it. It's not that bad. Okay, so now that we are fully blended out with that, um, I am, yeah, um, we're going to go in with the NYX HD Concealer in Fair is my shade. Um, it's a little lighter than my skin tone. Uh, I was trying to see what the color was so I could show you, but yep, that is fair. And I got a lighter one because I think um, with the sponge and this, it just creates such a flawless highlighted look without looking like too much highlighter. So I draw the uh, Kim K triangles as some people like to call them. And I pretty much go down the entire side of my nose because I have redness around the corner of my nose. So I just draw those. It looks kind of like a Wu-Tang symbol when I'm done. 
And, um, yeah. I really like this concealer. I've been using a Max Pro Longwear one for about a year and a half, but I am completely sold on this one. First of all, it is $5, um, and the MAC one is, like, under 20 but around there. And it just has a better consistency. I feel like it doesn't dry abnormally fast, so you don't have to work like a madman to uh, blend it out. And also, the other one was very yellowy. And I'm now drawing um, a leaf-like structure on my forehead with this and following it down my nose. And I will also dot a little bit at my cupid's bow and some on my chin. And it's literally this easy with the sponge. A lot of people ask me all the time how contouring and highlighting is done. Um, yeah. It's, it's really not hard at all. So again, I'm using the flat end. I feel like this tip here kind of uh, soaks up too much water. So again, using the flat end, I just uh, start wherever and just try to blend that completely so it looks like my skin is, you know, naturally flawless and luminous and all that good stuff. Um, I uh, sometimes like to use the pointy tip on the inside of like where my eye is because it just helps get the under eye all blended, but um, the flat end is best for pretty much everything else. Again, just blending that out. forehead I kind of like to squish the sponge side to side um, to even out our little tree um, yep. and then you can always blend things out with your fingers a little bit if you feel like you're not properly blended so as you can see that creates a super luminous naturally highlighted look oh you can't see because you know autofocus so I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte and the Sonia Kashuk Kabuki to set the concealer. That's the only thing I've noticed is um, this will separate a bit if you don't set it, but it's totally not a problem once you powder it down. And the powder and the concealer I used are both five dollars each, so I really, I really don't think you can go wrong. So that was it for my foundation routine. I hope you liked it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it, so I know what you guys like to watch. Bye.